Welcome to the Peak District. My name's Adam Stringer, and I'm a landscape photographer. Uh, today I've come out to Padley Gorge, which is uh, out in the Peak District just near Grindleford. And uh, it's, um, it's not a place I've ever been to before, but uh, yeah, it's looking quite interesting. See the dog behind me? This is Peppa. It's the first time for her coming out on a photography trip. It'll be interesting, see how she gets on. Hey, hey puppy, you okay? You say hello? Yeah? seven uh, but the gorge is quite it's quite deep um, and uh, it'll be a good couple of hours before the sun rises up over the top of the the hills either side so so I've got quite a bit of time to wander and just explore see what uh, see what this uh, gorge has got to offer yeah it's been quite rainy um, for uh, the last few weeks so there's a lot of water around and there's some nice waterfalls apparently um, so I'm just following the path that runs at the bottom of the gorge right next to the river so we'll see what we can find. here is amazing. All these twisting oak and birch trees. I think uh, given a bit of mist there's some fantastic shots in here. So this is a perfect example of the twisting trees up in the canopy. First image is an interesting looking footbridge here. I'm gonna go with some, some hectare. I think that is probably gonna be the most suitable here. So as usual, shooting with my Hasselblad 500 CM, which is a medium format film camera from about the late 1970s, I believe this one was. Oh yeah, now that is looking nice. So I think I'm going to shoot with a relatively slow shutter speed. See if I can get some motion in the, in the water. There we go. So let's scoot on and do this. So I've got Ektar in there, which is an ISO 100 film. So I'm just taking an ambient reading. And if I go F16 and a half, 
that's giving me a half a second, which should capture some nice movement in the water. Lovely. I'll just take a couple of spot readings just to make sure. So the spot readings are F11 at half a second. I think I've attempted to go with that, actually. Yeah. So we're pretty much all set up. I'm going to focus on these rocks that are in front of me. Dark slide out. F11, half a second. Mirror lock up. There we go. First shot in the bag. Side of the path here, it's a couple of really interesting little birch saplings that are springing out of the tops of the rocks. They look fantastic. I think, uh, I think with shallow depth of field, there's a potential here. And there's another one, another one behind me just here. Please fantastic little trees here. Look. It's very difficult to isolate them from the background, but I'm going to give it a go. Let's see what we get. Quite a simple uh, composition, but what I've done is I've put the little sapling off to one side and then balanced the image with this uh, tree trunk on the other side. So, let's see if we can get this metered then. I'm on a really quite <laughs> precarious little rocky uh, perch here. So, metering wise, I'm going to meter for the, for the shadows, and the shadows are the, the bits of moss. So, we'll find a dark bit of moss down there. Let's have that one. So, that's. Uh, F12 at a half a second, and then actually the the tree itself is probably the the lightest thing in the composition. So I'll do one of those leaves. So there I'm getting 22 and a half. So let's average that 16 and a half at two, but I need to be as wide open as I can get. So I'm going to go right down to... I'll do that. 2.8 at 60. Right then. See how that goes. Uh, I'll build, there's a bit of... Uh, there's a bit of wind you can probably hear. Which is... Morning creating a bit of motion. Okay, I think, I think that'll be okay. So focused on the tree, 2.8, that's 60. And there we go. That's it. Second image. Thank you. 
So this is the little wooden footbridge, Padley Gorge, just as the sun's coming out. Yeah. There's a few uh, bits and pieces of interest here, so I think it'd be rude not to have a go. Yeah, just not sure where to set up. There's a few options, but around about here will be perfect. Right, uh, third, third image. And boy, is the sun come out now. Um, I'm hoping you're going to be able to hear me over the noise of the river. So, yeah, a fairly uh, straightforward composition. So we're pretty much square onto the bridge, and really, I'm just waiting for the sun to shine on these rocks in front of me. Um, again, I've gone. So I'm at uh, f16 and a half and about a quarter of a second, so hopefully get a little bit of movement in the river, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, look, faithful old pooch is just sat there watching me, crazy dog. But yeah, it's just a bit of a waiting game now and see what happens when the sun comes out. into this oak forest. Loads of gnarled oak trees. They look beautiful. Uh, and because I'm on the other side of the valley, I'm just starting to get into the, into the sun. So I'm hoping I'll be able to find a few images of these trees, gnarled oaks with the moss on them and the sunlight lighting them all up. Anyway, I'll keep on wandering, see what I can find. So, Another image. Again, a, a uh, little birch sapling just in front of me here, lit up by the sun, backlit by the sun, uh, and then the um, the mossy covered oak branches behind it. It's this, uh, yeah, really nice. Again, I'm shooting absolutely wide open, f 2.8, 250, just to try and isolate the subject, throw the background into. Uh, into a bit of uh, a bit of blur, try and make sense, or um, just calm that background down a bit, so it helps the the subject pop out. Yeah, but uh, another nice image. I think that's is that four? No, something like that. little image I've found here with the uh, tiny little waterfall just just a brook really running down from the from the sides of the hill but um, it's just perfectly lit by the by the sun and the the color of the water is just crystal clear with this lovely orange glow to the to the sand So I'm setting up the camera with quite a high 
viewpoint looking down onto it and really I'm just picking up this little fall here and then and then this fall towards the back there um, and then and then this this nice colored sand in between so yeah it's um it's a really nice little image I think sun's just gone in so there ain't no point metering and the sun's in. Ah, uh, but it's it's in and out. So let's go for it. Uh, so we've got some darks and the foliage and the shadows and then lights there in the sands and I'm going to do another one on the water itself. And let's take an average. So we're looking at 11 and a half at 15. I want to push this as far as I can go. So we're looking 22, which is all this lens will go up to. So we're looking at 22 at a quarter. Um, yeah, so I think, I think that will do, 22 and a quarter. Uh, probably slightly, slightly overexposed at that, but I'm not too fussy. Um, so really now, I just need for the pup to get out of the way. Or maybe I'll take one with her. Yeah, I will. One with the dog. Pepper, hey! Good girl. One with a dog. And then one without. Yeah, there we go. Alright, that's that's about six six images now I think. Not bad. little bit of the forest just with all the moss just catching on all of the uh, all of the branches so there's a nice one just in front of me here. I've just I've just taken it uh, settings were 11 and a half at a 15th of a second but what I like is the, um, the broken and fallen log that's just sat in front of the wall um, and then that that notch that, that you can see in the wall so um, Let's just zoom in a little bit. Yeah, and then flanked by those two trees either side that are, again, just catching the sun. So, um, yeah, nice, nice little image. Nothing special, but, um, but yeah, not bad. Sit down. Sit. Good girl. 
This is such a peaceful little forest. There's no sounds except the animals. The place is full of squirrels, they're everywhere. And it's driving the puppy crazy. She's, uh, she keeps chasing them. But they end up going up the trees and she just stands at the bottom, barking at them. I have no idea what she'd do if she actually caught one. Well, I think that's it. Uh, just coming back down to Grindleford Station where the car's parked. But that, that was a, yeah, nice morning out. Lots of, uh, lots of photographic opportunities. I think today perhaps, um, just not enough atmosphere, I think. There was no, no mist, nothing to create depth in the images or um, you know, to, to tidy up the backgrounds and the jumble of the forests behind whatever subject I was choosing. But um, a good, good recce. I think, uh, you know, lots of potential, just need to pick the right conditions. Um, the, uh, the pooch had a great time. She's been running all over the place like a nutter. Um, chasing the squirrels and all sorts. So, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this uh, little vlog. Not hugely successful, I don't think, but uh, we'll see what the image is like. And, uh, well, hope you've enjoyed it. If you would uh, like and subscribe, that would be much appreciated. And um, otherwise, I'll, I'll see you next time. Thanks very much.